Boom. Peace. Intro. How's it going? AC running. It is humid out here already in the Midwest, man. Now to that package from Andre Cruz. Couldn't get to it yesterday. Hector's was too big. What is that? Muy grande. Mucho grande. It was huge. It was big. Anyway, I got another one. Big one. Andre Cruz, our buddy. Um, I know what some of it is because I bought some of them cars. That, uh, he had a bunch of NASCAR he was selling. I don't know if any of you guys seen any of that, but look for his video. A couple videos ago, if you don't know, he's got a bunch of old NASCAR. Ten, ten years ago at least. I don't know if he's got any left, but I know there's a lot of NASCAR guys out there. Check him out, Andre Cruz. And uh, he has a, he had some and pretty good prices on them too. And uh, uh, if he's got any left, you know you can get them. And uh, I I go order two of each, of course, just in case my. Hot Wheel Hunting Amigo wants some, any. If he doesn't, then I'll keep him. But, as you and I both know, old Andre's always got to throw something else in the box, so there's a good chance there's something else in here. But, if not, it's, that's cool too, because all I'm, you know, all I was looking for was them, uh, NASCAR. And, uh, I don't, I don't, I got some NASCAR. I don't care about all of them. But there's certain ones I like, and it ain't ain't necessarily because of the driver. It really has a lot to do with the car. And uh, but these were older ones, and there were some cool ones in there, guys. I mean, like I said, these are some good prices, real good prices. So if he's got any left. I'm not saying he does, but if he does, you might want to check it out. Oh, it looks like he got a. Looks like he did the old box in a box trick. Oh no, there's more stuff in there. Okay, so there's a box in a box there. And of course with more stuff in there. Let's see what we got going on here. El Presidente, wanted to send you these hot cars. Me and the boys got off the streets. Figured you could put them to use at the chop shop. New paint, wheels, bin numbers. And they're ready to go. Don't worry, I removed the low jacks. <laughs> Andre Cruz, proud member of the ASSC of Diecast Homies Association of Diecast Homies. Um, low jacks. They they still use that. They still got low jack on everything. I didn't know. I figured everything just comes automatically with a satellite chip in it. Anyway, right on. They good. They good for the chop shop. Let's see what he got in there. Um, I think one of these was the NASCAR. I think he said something about it. Yeah, he couldn't get it in the box. But yeah, these are official NASCAR. That's the Kodak. Well, I got a bunch of these over there, officials. Sure do. I don't think I've ever showed you guys those. I got probably 20, 30 of them, 25 of them. Like this in little boxes. There's the Kodak. Don't have that one. Right on. Like I said, guys, he uh. My air kicked off, but man, it sure did surge some power, didn't it? He uh, he had a lot of those. I don't know if he still does, but if he does, you could check it out and get some of them. But he may have already got rid of them. <clears throat> All right. Looks like he sent me some big air bell airs. For sure, right off the bat. Three of the red big air bell airs. Now, I haven't really done any customizing with those. That's a whole nother ball of worms. Can of worms. Whatever. Be a good one to customize. But I have to find some cool real riders for that. Derek sent me some rubber. 
there's not any rims which I believe that rubber would go on other rims so yeah might have something I could do there but right on there's three of the red big air bell airs I can use for customs or something and then looks like oh, two more three more three more big air bell airs must really be planning on me doing some big air bell air customs like I said I haven't done any of those um, Like I said, that's a whole nother set of tires or something. I don't know, I might come up with something. Oh, a couple more gassers, 64 Noble Wagon gassers. I can spit out a couple more of them uh, bad mans, throw them on my site. Right on. I have a, I have a few of these, but can't hurt to have more. Right on, brother, and something else here. Ah, the tail dragger, the venom one. I have that one. It's pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah, I like that flat back. Well, I liked everything about it just like it was. Of course, the, you know, the front wheels could be different. The back ones you can't even see. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Right on, brother. Keep this bubble wrap. Definitely got to use the bubble wrap. In there. Big old box. And then this must be the other box of NASCAR stuff. Which any of you NASCAR guys have probably been waiting for. I think I need to run my blade across the Diamond bar, real quick. Get a little dull. Right on. Whew, gonna have to move some of these things over. All right, I'll try to make it quick. All right, I believe I only got one of these. This was the Dale Earnhardt number three. Good wrench. I don't think he, I think he only had three of these or something and several other people wanted them. So I got one of them. Cool. And let's see, there's the other Kodak. Like I said, I tried to get two of each. So there's the other Kodak. A couple of the catalogs. I always like the cereal ones. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. What was that? Oh yeah, that'll clean up. It's got a little dirt on it. A little dust. I'll wipe them babies down. Two of the Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Those are cool right there. And then I got Western Auto. Two of those. Number 17, Western Auto. Limited edition, 1995. Shoot. That's over, over 10 years, guys. And uh, these here, these ones were super cool, man. These Rusty Wallace boxed ones he opened up buster out of there kind of hate to mess them up but they're sweet Look at that. Light beer. Pretty sure the hood's open on these. 
I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up, but anyway, very nicely detailed. Very nice. Definitely have to take those out. Can't leave them in the box. I'll get, put them in some of my cases over there. I've got two of those. Just in case, like I said, old Hot Wheel Honey Amigo wanted them, but I don't know that he does. Rusty Wallace, like I said, two of those guys. And the, uh, packed in here pretty good. This one was super cool, too, I saw in the picture. Got two of the Ricky Rudd Texaco Haviland. But see how the body lifts up off the chassis? That is awesome. I probably should have got more of those. Because those are cool. Yeah, it's got spark plug wires. Those are nice right there. And I mean, good deal on them too, guys. Good deal. You have to check them out, see what he's what he's selling them for. And then there was the Pepsi. Love that one too. And uh, same deal. Check it out. Chassis lifts up off of it. Awesome, man. Again, nicely detailed. Very nicely detailed. Jeff Gordon. Got two of those. And I may not want to share these with my buddy. But, uh... And the, I'm telling you, the prices to pay for these, you're not buying these for that. And, uh... I, I, and, and I don't know if he gave me a little bit better deal than he might be given... But even if he did, I assure you, he's not going to give you a bad deal. He's going to give you a good deal on these things. If he's got any left. This Tony Stewart Rebel Collection, Home Depot. Heavy, heavy, man. Very nice car. Very nice car. And as old as these are, I guarantee you he could, have sold, he could sell them for double what he was asking. So... Definitely check him out and see if he's got any left and uh, get you some. I got two of them. Man, those babies are heavy. Very nice cars. I mean, this ain't the stuff you're getting. Those are Rebel. Got two more Rebels here. The McDonald's drive through I love those too. Any kind of name brand like that. The Bill Elliott. Very nice. They're heavy too, guys. And these actually have a display case. They're in their own display case. Nice logo. 2000. Around 2000. Yeah, 2000 McDonald's. 25th anniversary Ford Taurus. Those are awesome. And then two more. The McDonald's, the M&M &M one. Same deal, Rebel, comes in a display case, heavy again, very heavy, nice deal, excellent, very good looking cars, man, and I got two more in the display case, very nice. That's the Kellogg's Essentials. It's got the Toucan Sam on the side. Super cool. Look at those. Very nice. Like I said, guys, if you're interested, jump over there to Andre Cruz's channel and check out his, I don't know, it's either two videos ago, maybe three. But you'll see it and see if he's got any of these left. If you want to get them while you can, because you're not going to find these. At least I don't think you are. 
and they are very nice. Then two more of the uh, Casey Atwood Castro GTX. And again, official NASCAR 2000. You know, and I'm going to tell you guys, I got a lot of official NASCAR over there. Um, I'm just going to grab one to show you the similarity. Well, I grabbed two. All right. Here's a here's a Jeff Gordon, and here's a a Kevin Harris. The Bush Bush beer. I got the uh, Outback Steakhouse Budweiser. I got I got all kinds of them over there. But um, anyway, these things ten bucks a piece. Easy, easy, ten bucks a piece. And that's when I ordered them. And uh, let me go put these back. And a lot of times, and I got them from the official NASCAR website, and a lot of times they're 15 bucks, but I usually wait till they go on sale. And uh, I bought them when they was 10 bucks a piece. There are a couple over there I got for seven bucks a piece, but almost every one of them was 9 dollars and uh, that was on sale. So like I said, he, you're getting a deal if you go buy, if he's got any of these cars left. And then I got two of the Coors, Sterling Marlin, um, the Monte Carlo, and it's the same deal. It'll be in one of those boxes where you gotta take out the car and put it in a display case which it should fit in perfectly oh man look at that baby I mean look at that that thing is sharp very nice excellent condition I mean, brand new, and these are old. And like I said, he, he made a video on it and he showed them, and uh, uh, you know, and, and he told you then that they're brand new and they're in excellent shape, and all of that, and, and it's true. You can see right here, I got some in my hands. They are excellent, and uh, I'm here to tell you because I buy these. You're not getting them for that price. If he's got any less, or any left. And uh, I mean, even even these cars, I don't know what I don't know what he's got left, so therefore I don't know what he'd be selling them for. But uh, even at five bucks a pop, you're not beating that deal. But um, I bet you know I, I don't know I don't know what his deal what his price is now. But check him out because he had he had some of these. He had a lot of them to get rid of. So anyway, that's what I got, guys. And uh, those are awesome. I mean, I like all of them for their own reasons. I really love these. I should have got more of those. But I didn't want to be greedy because I know there's a lot of guys out there wanted some of what he had. And also, he wanted to make sure to share with everybody. He didn't, you know, we're all about, don't you know, don't be trying to, to take everything, which I'm not a scalper. I, I don't plan to resell any of these. And uh, so I really don't need more of them. But... These are excellent to have. What I would have wanted these extra ones like this for is for, these are perfect for when you're sending people packages, like people buy stuff from me or whatever, and uh, you throw in an extra car or something, one of these, oh, those are awesome. People don't usually get that kind of stuff. So that's why I said I should have bought extras of those. But these are cool. Right on, brother. Thanks. Thanks for all them extra uh other cars as well and like i said i haven't done anything with no big air bell air but i guess i'll have to figure something out with them and uh man i've stretched this video out again but anyway that's all that stuff he sent me guys and uh like i said i bought all the nascars very good deal and uh um very cheap 
And like I said, I don't want to say what it was because I don't know if he gave me a little bit off or a lot off or whatever. But I know, and you know him as well as I do, he's not going to rob you. These are some good deals. But again, I don't know if he even has any left. But if you like NASCAR, jump over there and check him out and see if he's got any left. And, uh, and buy them up while you can, guys. Right on. All right, brother. Thanks. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. And I'll get back to work on what I was doing over here. Just wanted to make that video real quick. And again, man, thanks for the cars. Those are great, dude. And I really didn't. I don't. I got some NASCAR. I got the kind you buy at the store that hang up in the blister. Then I got the official NASCAR. But I don't really buy a lot of NASCAR. I only only certain cars. And I almost just passed on these. But uh, your your video helped out because I could see them a lot better. And I was like, whoa, whoa! I see some cool ones in there. And there are some cool ones in there, guys. And so, like I said, anyway, thanks a lot. Y'all take it easy and have a good weekend. See y'all next time. Peace. Outro.